Hey folks, how you doing? Cat Malky, the kid, Kid Cook Cheese Outdoors. This is a quick one, all right? Questions I get, probably most questions I get about jigging for blackfish. And again, that's not jigging for blackfish, that's using tidal tail jigs to catch blackfish. Different, different concept here. All right, how do you bait them, all right? Let's just go through that. Yesterday, I just had a charter out, we whacked them on jigs, all right? Had the biggest fish of the year on a jig. I like to use one ounce jigs when I'm fishing shallow. And where we were yesterday, it was around 22 feet deep, all right? So, got into a huge fish, hung me up. It was a pretty cool fight. The people on board kind of liked it. It was pretty fun, all right? Neither here nor there. But how do you put a bait on a blackfish, all right? So that's what we're gonna do real quick in this video. I'm gonna think this as fast as possible, the way I do it, all right? Am I the authority on blackfish? No, but this is the way I do it. We seem to be catching a lot of fish, all right? I like to start the trip shallow, especially when the tide pulls not crazy. We shoot over there, do some damage shallow, and then we'll move deeper, all right? Use the old conventional stuff. But what we were doing is we're hitting shallow, one ounce jigs, how do we how do we bait those jigs, all right? Let's just start off with the green crab itself. That's what we're using. The green crab itself, there are two crabs. There's a male crab and a female crab, all right? I know that's crazy to even say something like that in today's environment. But let me tell you one thing further. There are two people. There's a male and a female, all right? One has a mommy-daddy button, the other one doesn't. It's pretty easy to differentiate. I love it when a kid speaks real science. But there are male and female crabs, all right? Why am I getting to that? Because I dig the female crabs. I think I've said this before in other videos, but we'll say it again. The easy way to tell them apart is go into your bushel of crabs, grab one crab, and grab the other crab. You'll see a female has a bigger abdomen, protects the, the eggs are all under there, all scary monster stuff, all right? The female human, has other things that a male doesn't have, like a uterus. Let's just start that up, all right? So there are different things between male and female, all right? Very distinct things that even a three-year-old could tell the difference between a male and a female, all right? Same thing applies to the green crab. Grab the females first, that's what I do, all right? Some guys will say, no, I like males, whatever. You're allowed to like males, all right? Now we're jig fishing, all right? I'm jig fishing a one ounce tidal tail. It's a small jig, all right? I personally don't put full crabs on tidal tails. It's just too big to me, I just I just don't like it. People say, what are you crazy? I'll do full Asians on it, but I'm not gonna do full green crabs, all right? I just don't like it, it's not what it works for me. I seem to do well the way I'm gonna show you right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that green crab out, preferably female to me, and we are going to cut the legs off and the claw off both sides. We're going to take the scissor and we're going to go dead balls up the middle of that abdomen. We're going to cut that crab into equal parts, all right? Yin and yang. And then what we'll do is now we're going to rip the abdomen off. I think I think the abdomen sometimes will block a hook set. I, I don't know. I'm just assuming that that's going to happen. So what I do is I'll just do a twist and wing that freaking abdomen into the drink. But coming from the back side, all right? You go for that back leg and you're going to work it forward into the front legs, all right? So I go into the back leg, number one leg, and try to push it out the third leg up, all right? That's what I do. And then what am I going to do at the beginning? I'm going to just take that shell off, discard the shell as well, all right? In the beginning, you want to build that bite, all right? When you have a charter, you have multiple people on the boat, and you're dropping down body baits, half body baits, you're already sent in that water, all right? Again, those females have a lot more stuff inside them than the males do. That's, you know, I'm not a freaking crab scientist, but I was a homicide detective. At least I played with on TV, and I could see the that there's a complete difference between the body structure of a female and a male crab, all right? We're getting back to that male females thing. Two, male, female, get over it. All right, we're gonna start off again. We're gonna drop that crab to the sea floor. Coming in the back leg, out the front leg, no shell, no arms, no claws. Guess the dish made a moosh. It's gonna hit the sea floor bottom, all right? Again, like I showed you last video, go through that whole routine of, if you didn't see that, go watch the video before this. But watch the bite, differentiate the bite from the peck, and then you'll you'll hook up, all right? That's how we're gonna start off. So you wanna get those fish to start to build, all right? That's another, this is gonna be a, a, an aside tip right now. A lot of people are gonna just get frustrated and say, oh, these are all small fish, they're all small fish. That is the biggest mistake in black fishing, all right? When you go on structure, there are multiple, it's a freaking colony fish. You got little guys, we catch a fish this big to monstrous fish, all right? Will little guys get there a little faster? Yeah, they will. Just like porgies will start to harass you in early season. But the big fish are 100% there. You have to have patience. You have to build up that bite, all right? So what's happening, you're on a piece of structure and 
fish lateral lines. They they see commotion. They'll they'll say, hey, what the hell's going on over there? They think there's an active fee going on, and they're just gonna start to come and congregate. You'll even watch your machine. I was just showing the guys. You'll watch machines start to build fish. Like oh, shit, look at all these fish just came in. Like the machine was blank for a second, and then they all just kind of showed themselves and they hung around for a while. You could just see them coming under the machine. All right, that's what's happening. They're all to say, hey, what's going on over there? And they start to build. All right. That's when you're going to start have multiple hookups in your in your stuff. You, you say, hey, that makes sense. That happened to me the other day. That's what's happening, all right, in this, on the seafloor. These fish are starting to say, hey, what's going on over there? My money bait all day long, if I had to do one way, would be that no shell, half bait, no claw. That's what it would be, just like I showed you the first bait. Then what you'll start to do is these, as these fish really start to build and start going nuts, you can just go half baits now, all right? You can go half bait with shell. So that's going to be the bait I'm going to show you right now. This half bait with shell is just as deadly. When these things start to go it's fight it's it's survival of fish they're gonna start whacking these baits so again go to the other video how we're gonna set these fish up and how to differentiate the bite but that's basically the way I jig fish all right When you first get there, have these guys cut baits and start to build that bait. Again, it's just like when you chunk and bunker, you are starting to put five baits out in the water. You're gonna build. These all the factory glands of a bass are money. All right, they can smell this stuff. They're gonna start to work their way towards the origin of that smell. When you have five baits in the water, these bass are gonna start to feed on you. They're just gonna work their way right to you. They're gonna come off that structure, just like I told you back in the day, God. 2007 stuff I was doing, all right? Blackfish are no different, all right? There's two things, they're gonna smell it and they're gonna see it, and those three things now. It sounds like that. I got two words for you, made in America. All right, I just sound like I was gonna say that. But there's three things. They got the sight, they're gonna see all the stuff going on, they're gonna smell it and they're gonna feel it. All right, they're gonna feel the vibration, they're gonna come over and investigate, all right? So that's how that's gonna work. Those are two baits. I hope this video helped you cats out a little bit, especially if you start jigging blackfish, which can be extremely frustrating if you don't have the freaking right way to do it. A lot of guys, on my chart, let's just say I'm done with this. I'm going back to the old school stuff. I get it. It's frustrating, especially when somebody's next to you is whacking fish. You know, that can get a little aggravating. But try it. Once you get it, you ain't stopping it. All right. Thanks for tuning in this episode of Kiko Cheese Outdoors. May the grace of God shine upon you and your family. Always being his favorite players. Yes, a dish and a moach.